Honey, I got you a little Gryffindor pretty gift. We're here at Hope, all vegan restaurant. Let's see how it goes. Wow! Oh, it's a vegan mac and cheese, one of their specialties. The mac and cheese is so creamy and so delicious. I can't believe how tasty, creamy, and thick it is. This is like the best mac and cheese I've ever had, even comparing to not vegan. But I can't believe it's vegan. Wow, it's so good. This so is like food part. How are the spring rolls or the their quinoa This rolls. is like so good. Which part is good? The sauce? These are quinoa rolls, wraps. All vegan, you guys. And the Thai tea. The Thai tea is actually really good. I'm about to try their famous wraps. Quinoa wraps. It's so good, it's like eating sushi. Yeah, it tastes like sushi. Have the best care. view in the house, you guys. Yeah, and I bought the uh, okay. here. We are at the Grove in Los Angeles. They're doing a big Harry Potter event. We're about to go do the Harry Potter scavenger hunt. So let's find that crate and barrel so we can do that scavenger hunt. This will be that was fun. Back there. Oh, wait, which one are we going to? It's a Pottery Barn. It's actually a Pottery Barn. Let's go. I said Crane Barrel because I got it confused with the store you were talking about. There it is, I see it. It's right there. What? You actually like Harry Potter? Hey, I read a book. After, what? Oh my what god. The? How could you give me such a hard time about it? You're like, no, I'm too cool for Harry Potter. Why are you wasting this time at the Harry Potter scavenger anymore. hunt? Like what? But, so you read the Harry Potter book, you took a Harry Potter quiz, and you found that you're a Slytherin. You just give me a bunch of about me doing a scavenger hunt at the Harry Potter event. Because I didn't feel like doing it. Okay, it's fine if you don't feel like doing it, but at least come with me to get the prize on myself. You were like bullying me in line. You guys, we're about to see the cutest little pigs racing. and so fun and so cute. Go! And a golf clap getting started. I got you a little Gryffindor pretty gift. It's a Gryffindor, baby. Here. And I got you another Gryffindor gift. It's a little ring to put on your phone, baby. How do you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, Gryffindor. Or are you a Slytherin? Oh, yeah, why didn't you get a Slytherin one? They have other phone accessories. You should have got it. Other, other fun. Passive. Yeah. Go back? Baby, you missed it because you're being negative. You would have just came in and looked. It would have been so fun. You could have picked out anything. It's probably gone. I mean, because a lot of people were there and they only had a few left. I was lucky to get this one. I'll just keep it then. No, this is for me. What? I no, gave you, you the said other it one. No. no, I gave you the other one. What? What am I going to do I with the Lego person? I don't know. I this hate was you. a fun accessory. We're going to go have some vegan. Food. Anyway, look how cute Sharon looks in this little Jewish hat. If you guys want to see some more of her QOTDs, check out her Instagram and make sure to follow and like it. We're here at Sushi Bite. So what do you think? left sushi by H. Wow, what an experience. It was beautiful in every sense of the word. I was just sitting there eating this such delicious, beautiful sushi. I'm so stuffed. We ate a lot. <laughs> we have this female chef. She's very young and 
she's like very energetic and passionate and I'm like who is this lady like everybody else is just looking like they're at work she looks like she's like having fun and she's making our sushi and then she sees me filming Sharon eating the sushi so she's like oh if uh, you don't mind I just wanted to ask what are you filming for what is the purpose I was like oh it's just for fun we film restaurants we go to fun things we do she was like oh I was just asking because uh, somebody was videotaping one time and I got sued and I said really what happened she said well they sued me for having the same name as their sushi restaurant so she's actually the owner no wonder she's so passionate about making sushi and everybody else looks like they're at work you know but anyway that was like such a beautiful experience we we're just drinking wine eating the most delicious sushi and i have this beautiful fine lady next to me we just had a great time <laughs>